Hello everyone. In today's class, we will discuss about practical work of engineering graphics for class 12 students, class 12 CBSC students. And we will see what exactly we are required to do in practical work of engineering graphics for practical work, for file work and at the day of practical. So, let's see what we have in our syllabus. In our practical, we have three main parts. First part related to machine block for 15 marks. Second part computer edit design CAD project for 10 marks. And third sessional and viva for 5 marks. So total is 30. Now in first part related to machine block. We are required to perform following task. From the given views of the prescribed 10 machine blocks in an extra one. So these are 10 machine blocks. Now. For the given machine block, first task is to copy the given views, to copy the given views for 1 marks. Second, to draw the missing view with hidden lines for 2 marks. And third, to sketch the isometric view without hidden edges for 5 marks. Fourth task, to make the machine block of the above in 3 dimensions. Not to scale, but approximately and using thermocol soap cake or any other medium then second computer edit design cat or cat project project file to be submitted on the simple solids like prism pyramid and frustum of equilateral triangle square pentagon and hexagon or machine blocks as prescribed in part one by using the cad software and last sessional work related to machine block as prescribed and viva based on part one and part so, in today's class, we will solve problem number 9, practical problem number 9. Now, in this problem, front view and side view, front view and side view, these two views are given to us and our task is first to copy the given views, which is already here in my uh, board. So, I request you to please copy these two views front view and side view in your sheet first then the second task is to draw the missing view with hidden lines and then to sketch the isometric view without hidden lines so in this problem front view and side view these two views are given to us so first of all let's check different dimensions length full length of this block 90 then height 60 height is 60 right width is also 60 and in the side view, after 20, we have a discontinuity and in the front view, from this corner, from this edge, after 30, first discontinuity, after 30, second discontinuity and the height is also 30. Now, we have to relate these two views and using front view and side view, these two views, we are required to generate its top view. So, first of all, it's better to project these edges or corners for its top view so after right front view and side view project these limits for its top view so project limits of front view and project limits of its side view up to your reference line first so up to your reference line project them like this again I'm using second scale for further extension now we know that for top view We have to project these limits up to this axis. So draw lines at angle 45 from these limits. Okay, this is the second limit and this is my third and last limit. Right. Now from these points draw 
parallel lines lines parallel to x y line parallel to x y from each point line parallel to x y from each point right so these are extreme limits of the top view now observing from side view and front view it is clear that after 20 after 20 we have a discontinuity edge means a discontinuity and this discontinuity is after 30 in the front view so this is my first point we will start from this point and after 30 after 30 we have a discontinuity this one so this is my second point third point now after 30 it's a one plane or single plane and here again we have a discontinuity which is there in the front view so in front view and side view both the views it's a discontinuity so after this point we'll have another discontinuity and in this region don't have any discontinuity so these are corner points now last corner point this is the last corner point why because the length is 90 and up to 90 we have both faces first face and rear second face so this point is the corner of rear face now draw dark line through these corner points so this is the top view now after 30 plus 30 is 60 this is the discontinuity which is matching here so after third after 60 or from this corner after 30 the plane changes its orientation or generates an edge so this edge is also visible right so this is the complete top view complete top view of this block and from front view and side view we have to generate its top view like this next task now we have to draw its isometric view using front view top view and side view we have to draw its isometric view isometric view of the machine block now isometric view means we don't have to reduce or modify these dimensions we'll take true dimensions 20 as it is 30 as it is and so on so for given front view, top view and side view, we will draw its isometric view starting from its horizontal or base plane. So first of all, we will project these limits of the top view along first and second iso axis. So first, second or you can say first and second and this is third and vertical axis. Now from the origin point or from this point, we will mark 60 and 90. So 90 along this axis, 90 along this axis and 60, 60 along second axis. Then draw lines parallel to first and second iso axis from these points like this. And please use your roller scale properly. Okay. So this is the base, approximate base. Now we'll mark different corner points of the base on this horizontal plane or top view or map of the body or block so this is my first corner first corner second corner this is second corner third extreme corner and fourth corner 
Now, we have two discontinuities in the top view. It means from this corner after 20 and from this corner after 20 and from this corner after 30. So, from this corner after 20 and from this corner. This is the extreme corner after 30. We have a discontinuity. This is 30, yes, approximate 30. So it's better to show them. Now this is the approximate view of the base. Now from these four corners and this is my fifth corner, from these five corners we have to draw vertical lines parallel to third axis, parallel to third axis for, for 60 mm because vertical height is 60 so from this point 60 up, 60 up, again from this point, 60 up, from this point, again 60 up, from this point, 60 up, and from this point also, 60 up, and the last point, from the last point, 60 up. Now, Join them. Right. So after extending these vertical lines, we have this solid. And for the last part, for this part, for this cavity what we have to do is from this point after 30 or from this corner 13 this direction similarly from this corner 13 reverse direction again mark two points okay and then from these two points vertically down vertically down for 30 or we can also mark height of 30 height of 30 for these two faces so these are these are edges of this block and last okay now this part this upper part is not in our machine block so we can remove this part so after removing upper part this is the final view of the given machine block now you don't have to show hidden edges so erase them like this or use dark pencil for final view so you use dark pencil for final views of the block
right and then do dimensioning for the block And this is also 60, right? In the isometric view, this part is not correct. So let's do some correction work. Now for thermocol model, thermocol model of this block, we have three ways, three ways for construction or fabrication or preparation of thermocol model. First is, we'll assume horizontal section, horizontal section, second we'll assume horizontal section like this and third we'll assume horizontal section. So we will assume that we are cutting this solid by some horizontal plane or vertical plane and then we'll decide what is the shape and size of first part, first plate, second part, third part, fourth part and then we'll cut those shapes on the thermocol sheet and then we'll arrange them. So, in first section, say we are assuming that the section is vertical section. So, we can cut this solid like this. So this is my first section plane, this is the first plane, then this is second plane, this is third plane, like this, up to this point, then fourth plane, like this. So first plane, second plane, okay, third plane. Third plane, fourth plane, fifth plane and sixth plane. So the solid, solid is a combination of six rectangular planes of which first is a square, square of size 60, second again is a square, third and fourth plane of size uh, 60 minus 20, 40, 40 by 60. So these two plates or planes are rectangles of size 40 by 60. And these two planes, these two planes are, okay, these two planes are 30 by 40. So these two planes are rectangles of size 30 by 20. So in this method, we will cut different rectangles of size 30 by 40, then 40 by 60, then 60 by 60 square. And then we'll arrange them. Then next, we can also assume vertical section along second axis. Second axis means okay. Second axis means parallel to this plane. So in that case. These are different planes of the solid. First plane of this shape and size, second similar plane and this is the third plane. Third plane is a rectangle of size 60 by 30 and remaining two planes are combinations of 
rectangle and rectangle right so this is our second option third and last option we can also assume that the solid machine block is a combination of horizontal plates so horizontal plate means you can divide base like this and then for second part again we'll assume something like this so in this case okay. in this case we'll have to cut one two three and four four plates four different plates of thermocol first of this size second again of this size third and fourth of this size so this is the size this is the shape and size of the plate which is to be cut and this entire top view is the second plate now we have to select any one any one out of these three so for this problem we will go for this this means we will cut thermocol block in these shapes these shapes means we will cut first plate of this size the size is 90 total and uh, 40 20 this is 30 yes and remaining is 60 right so this into 2 for these two plates and second of size And the size is 30 plus 30 60 then 40 20 and this is uh, 30 and 30 so the size shape and size of first two plates first two plates is this entire and for remaining two plates we'll take this as the size now the next thing is we have to check dimensions and thickness of the thermocol block also so for the thermocol sheet here the thickness is 15 so sheet thickness sheet thickness in my case is 15 mm 15 mm now for the fabrication work this height or thickness is half of 30 15 because I have divided this height in two equal parts so the height is 15 it means for the plate for the plate or for the thermocol sheet of thickness 15 mm the scale is 15 mm of thermocol sheet is equals to 15 mm of block it means the scale is scale is 1 is to 1 2 scale now in some cases in some cases you will have to change these ratios also so for representation of 10 mm you can you can use a sheet of 15 mm or you can use a sheet of 20 mm also in some cases but here in my case sheet thickness is of 15 mm and I have divided entire length in terms of 15 so for 15 mm thickness this is my first plate or first sheet thickness then this is for second sheet again third and fourth and totally 60 so I use four plates of thickness 15 15 15 15 now after doing this we have to mark these shapes on the sheet so first two for 
these two plates and these are second two plates so first two of this shape and third and fourth of this shape after cutting arrange them like this first plate second plate third and fourth so first two plates of size this this is the shape and size of these two plates and for other two plates this is the shape and size mark them cut them and arrange them like this and for final fixing use all pin or uh, fevicol and then show these visible corners or edges of the machine block using dark marker dark black or blue marker right so this is the final machine block now for this block top view top view this view is the missing view now for construction or for the missing view you can also use isometric view so for check you can use this view or from the problem statement don't draw missing view first just draw front view and side view in this problem front view and side view given two views and try to generate an isometric view from given views then using this view isometric view now try to generate its top view you have wall limits and using this view or after using this model also you can draw its top view so we have two choices first is from given views we can generate its top view then using these three views you can draw its isometric view then a model or from given two views try to generate its isometric view then using isometric from missing view and the model so this is all from my side for this practical practical number nine please try to draw these views isometric view and try to make model thermocol model by your own using thermocol sheet and if you have any doubt any problem in any of the practical or any topic of engineering graphics or machine drawing write your comments in the comment box thank you